There's a lot. I mean, there's a, there was CIA documents that were released that proved that the CIA was working with those militias, those those neo Nazi militias, as counter to serve as counterintelligence for the U.S. You mean but, during the Soviet times? Yes, exactly. Yeah, we during the you know once the Cold War began. Uh, you know, the, these people had, you know, networks of contacts inside the Soviet Union. Soviet Union was ru ruled by Stalin. It was a, comp a terroristic and closed country. Uh, the Ukrainian nationalists uh, were fighting a, a uh, guerrilla war uh, and against... Uh, against uh, Stalin, against the you know the, the Soviet Union, they had contacts that uh, were valuable to the CIA. Uh, we used uh, we used the contacts of, of ex Nazi. We used ex Nazis and their information about the Soviet Union. Mm. The thing is, when you're the the, the a lot of people, it's this is the problem when people who don't know the world of intelligence begin making documentaries and offering their opinion. Uh, on, on one level, they're correct, uh, but fundamentally they're wrong mm. because they don't understand the overall picture in which these things happen. And uh, what, you know, the U.S. was trying to basically to support democracy and, and, to, and to make sure that Stalin didn't do something like uh, what Putin just did. Uh, because you know the the power of the Soviet Union was incomparably greater than the power of s today's Russia. I mean that was it was the foremost military power. Right. And uh, so you know in you know that meant that we the you know there uh, William Casey who was President Reagan's head of the CIA made an interesting remark that I think really kind of sums it up. And he said that, um, you know, the, the fact is I cannot guarantee or protect the, the, the safety of the American people if I'm only allowed, uh, I'm, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot, uh, protect the security of Americans if I'm only allowed to work with nice people. Right. Um, the intelligent, you know, in the world of intelligence, I mean, you know, for those who don't understand, this is one of the reasons why I was never suspected by the Russians of being an intelligence agent, although they put out that, you know, they, they were happy to put, put that out. Because, uh, you know, Intelligence agents are trying to find people to betray their government and provide, you know, critical information. I mean, it's an ugly process, mm. but unfortunately, it can save it can save lives. It can it can prevent war. It can you know prevent surprises. Mm. And intelligence agents aren't, or especially covert intelligence agents aren't trying to be, uh, they're, they're not publishing stories, trying to get attention on themselves. They're trying to uh, stay under the radar. Well, they, I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is that um, the, uh, the reality is that during the Cold War, you know, faced with you know, a country like, like the Soviet Union, which had millions of people in slave labor camps that was carrying out, you know, mass executions. And, and you know, we had to, we, we dealt, yeah, we dealt with very unsavory people, no question about it. But we did so in order to protect, you know, the democratic liberties of, the, of, of Americans mm -hmm. and also to resist a totalitarian power which was very dangerous. Mm-hmm. Now, you could say, well, look, you know, why don't you restrict, you know, you can, you're, you're allowed to work, to work with the peace movement, the Greens, uh, with uh, feminists, uh, gay rights groups, but, uh, you know, anybody else you, you, you better stay away from. Okay, but I mean, those groups aren't going to, they don't have the intelligence that we need 
Right. In order no, to, I understand what you're saying. I understand. I mean, it, it's it's a. I mean, it's yeah. You can accuse people, and you're and you're kind of right. But if you know, in 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 normal society, you wouldn't want to have 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 an ally like the former head of the German Abwehr, who was uh, right. you know, German. But on the other hand, he had priceless intelligence. Mm. Uh, you know, and the, these are these are not simple decisions. Uh, and I think that people in the world of intelligence, they even agonize over some of them. Because, uh, but... So do you think the, the do you think the U.S. and the CIA had no involvement in provocating any of the violence in the Maidan events in 2014? And the massacre and the shootings, the snipers, killing cops and killing killing protesters. The the I don't I mean I don't have abs, you know exhaustive knowledge of everything that happened, but the um, you think it's an over exaggeration? Or I I mean, I would not I don't I don't think the U.S. would be. Uh, involved in that, but but the the right wing uh, uh, extremist groups definitely could be well, and why, were why, could why, be and were probably. Why would they kill cops and protesters? Create chaos and uh, for uh, what though? Well, this is a tactic of the KGB. You know, it's called um, but it's called Piccadilly. Uh, after the street in London, you know, busy street, Piccadilly, you, you start shooting everybody, your your allies and your and your I, and your opponents, in order to create total confusion, and then the best organized group wins. But why would Russia want to pro- well, Why would Russia want to stir this thing up even more? I'm not sure that Russia was necessarily involved in those events, but the. Um, Russia had nothing, had everything to lose. They wanted um, the current president of the Ukraine. They didn't want him to be kicked out, right? Yeah, uh, and he and he sought 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 refuge in in Russia, in, in Russia, as did other. And then his motorcade, as soon as he took off in the helicopter, his motorcade got shot at or shot up, and I think that some of those the drivers of his motorcade got shot. Uh, entirely possible, but the thing is that. Um, the the Maidan, the sniper massacre. Uh, it you know it it looks like that was planned by right wing, you know extremists, mm-hmm. as a way of getting getting. But the overall, I mean, but the the hundreds of thousands of people who were in the square, they knew nothing about that. But weren't the right wing extremists? Pro West, you know they're not really. Uh, they are. They're anti-Russian, right? They they want to. They're be and they're most that they're, they're mostly anti-Russian and Ukrainian nationalists, right. and 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 a lot of the things they do and say are unacceptable in the West. And by the way, they're unacceptable in Ukraine as well. They get you know the right wing right wing groups get you know in in free elections they get what two percent I don't know. They probably get less than they do in some Western European countries. Mm-hmm.